Welcome to another video. Let's solve a quick trig equation that involves logarithms and we need to find all x's so we don't have a restricted domain and that means we have to use all we have to get all we want. Let's get into the video. The argument of the log function is sine 2x. So what we're saying is, um, yeah, it's crazy. So definitely there's going to be problems because every time this goes to zero, there's going to be a problem here, right? So, but it doesn't look like we need that. I think we just need to combine this and this and say, applying the log rule that says the sum of two logs is the log of the product. So we can say that this is log base 2 of sine 2x cosine 2x and that would be equal to negative 1. Now whenever sine multiplies cosine and you have the same argument and you're solving an equation you should start thinking of the double angle formula for sine. That's what I'm already seeing. So what I'm going to do is free these guys by applying the log rule that says that the logarithm of this function to base 2 which is negative 1 is the power to raise the base so I'm gonna go here and say that sine 2x cosine 2x will be equal to the base raised to minus 1 that's the meaning of logarithms and that's the connection between logarithms and exponential functions so and indices okay so what do we have here this is going to be one half so it looks like i have sine 2x cosine 2x will be equal to 1 over 2 so now i need to find x but clearly i can see that the double angle formula is already showing up i just need to multiply this by 2 because from here if i have 2 sine 2x cosine 2x I can also multiply this side by 2 which is 1 half multiplied by 2 so I'm multiplying both sides by 2 and when I do that the right hand side gives me 1 and this side gives me the double angle formula for sine 4x you see remember that sine 2x equals sine x sorry 2 sine x cosine x so when you double this when this becomes 4x this will become 2x 2x and that's what's going on here so i can write this clearly as sine 4x this is the hardest part of this exercise once you're able to figure this out you can solve the rest of it so what do we do we want to release this guy so we take the arc sign of both so i know that 4x is arc sign of 1 so what is the arc sign of 1 it's pi over 2 this is pi over 2 if you're in the first quadrant or every time you go round and you come back again so plus 2 pi n plus 2 pi n that is your 4x so we can easily we can easily find what x is by dividing everything by 4 so if i divide by 4 i'm going to get x equals 1 over 4 of pi over 2 plus 2 pi n and that gives me pi over 8 plus it's going to be pi over 2 n well this doesn't look beautiful um here n is in the set of integers so if i factor out pi over 8 i'm going to end up with pi over 8 times this is 1 and this would be 4 n plus 4 n and this anything that collides with this is an answer never stop learning those who stop learning stop living bye bye